Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks and happy Friday. Boy, I tell you what, I hate wishing my life away, but I love, love, love Fridays. Um, I'm going to start out by telling you that in the last video I mentioned that I was thinking about getting a um, cameo silhouette. Still hadn't made the decision because I do have seven cricket, or cricket machines. I figure, what do I need another machine for? However, after watching numerous videos and realizing that the Cricut Imagine has gone by the wayside and I don't have the ability to cut and print any longer, um, the Silhouette Cameo became more and more attractive and a little boy started talking to me last night and telling me I need one really bad. So I had my husband pick me up one last night and I tell you what, um, if you think I'm annoying now with my videos, just wait. I absolutely love it. A lot to learn on it yet, but um, I'm working on a project here that I'm going to show you. I started just experimenting with the Silhouette Cameo. Um, it's for my grandson's second birthday is next week, and it's going to be Bubble Guppy theme. I think I've already mentioned that in one of my previous videos. And so what I did is I started out practicing uploading the images into the silhouette and then just cutting them out. Um, the pixel on this one isn't particularly good. Um, I did find that you have to have a higher resolution in order for these to print out that well. This has nothing to do with the silhouette, absolutely nothing, but with the printing it itself. Um, next thing I'm going to get is a 12 by 12 or a 12 inch printer and a higher, uh, a better printer and see if it makes a difference. However, I don't think that's much you can do about it. It's the resolution and when you pull them to make them big. They're just not as clear, but you know what? For what I need it, it works and it's a, it's a, it's a starting point. So what I'm going to do is show you how to take an image and print it and make a centerpiece. And, um, oh, here's something else I thought of. Um, Adding your own pieces, it, it's not going to replace my my Cricut machines and my cartridges and my scales. Nothing's going to replace it. Every single one of these machines does something and has has its purpose. So I have them all running. Um, one isn't getting ignored. Um, what I did first is I, since I don't have a large enough printer, my print and cut space is only going to be the size of a. Uh, regular letter piece of paper or letter cardstock. So I just printed him out in that size and I wanted him larger so I did the sand mound on the bottom where I just cut this crap um, cardstock. I felted it in half and then I just cut it by hand. Then I went around the edges and inked it. I've showed you that in the past with other um, pieces. And then I, I put him on the top of the sand mound. Then what I'm going to do is attach my rod. Now I picked out an image that had a crown on it and for some of the other images or some of the other bubble guppy characters um, the ones that I picked to work with all have like I don't know they're princesses or something I'm not even really sure so I'm not going to be putting the birthday hat on it if any of them that I do ah, almost cut my knuckle off um, don't have a hat or don't have a crown of some sort, something on them, then I will um, put one on myself, or a birthday hat. And I'm over on the other side of my office because I had to find a new home for my new machine. So for right now, until I figure something out, um, she's taken over the spot where I normally set my camera. So I just moved over here, not a big deal. I'm hoping it films as well. And let me stick my sticks on there. And, oh, I got that put together, but I forgot to show you something that I'm going to do. On him, I'm going to take my eye rock, and in the areas where there's the gems on his crown, I am, my blue stick is probably right in the middle. I am sorry. This is all new. Um, the crown, there's some gems on there. So what I'm going to do is take some of my glittery eye rock. Um, these aren't stones. These are actually metal um, 
pieces and I'm going to attach those to the crown because even though I am doing a print and cut uh, I still am really big on the textures so I'm going to put all my little gems all around the crown here and have that be a little bit of my textures here. I already did the other side so I'm going to set these real quick and what I did is there was a uh, red spot and a blue spot on the crown and I just picked out red and blue. Um, they're little metal gems and they're kind of sparkle, not sparkly, kind of glittery. Uh, they're not, I don't even know, that they're not a solid color. They're really nice. I really like them. You can't, again, you're never going to get the full effect in a video of what something really looks like, but that's okay. I am going to have to tell you, I'll be doing some more videos using that cameo. Absolutely love it. All right, see, I put the little gems up on his crown. Again, he's a little pixely, but I think he's going to be just fine. I'm going to put on the other side here, I'm going to, I also had to move my glue gun over, um, and my base on the other glue gun is screwed down to the tabletop and so when I pick it up and move it, it doesn't move. This one is not because I've got it on a mat. I don't have anything to attach it to. Maybe I should attach it to this piece. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. So every time I um, pick it up and put it down, it, it um, the whole base comes up. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit here in his hand. He just looks like it might have been a little wobbly. And then I'm going to attach this side. And I don't like that not attached. I'm going to have to break down and bolt that to this side. So I have a base on both sides. And this is a little floppy here. You can probably hear it on the camera. Just the whole base comes up. Alrighty, there we have both sides. Then what I did is I've used these before from the Cricut cartridge um, Dreams Come True, the Disney Dreams Come True. I love these sea florals. I think they are so, I love the colors. They're so vivid. Um, this one is cut at seven inches. And then I did the little leaves. Then these were actually the icon on the flounder. Um, in the, the same cartridge. And I'm going to use those. Uh, these were cut at four inches. And let's see what we got here. You know that cutting these print and cut, your colors are really vivid. I really like combining the two. I, I don't know. I just, for some reason, I like the print and cut better. Um, that's why I loved the Imagine machine. I, I just loved combining the two and then no sooner had I gotten it all and, and got it working where I was thrilled, they stopped making it. No more cartridges to be had and I'm sitting here with very limited since they no longer make them. Um, so I'm hoping, I went on this morning online and bought a bunch of digitals and I'm going to be practicing all weekend, so you're probably going to see a bunch of videos and you're probably going to hear me telling everybody they need to go out and buy a silhouette. Not that I don't love my Cricut machines. I can't, I can't do without them. However, the silhouette has a whole different, opens up a whole different world of options. Oh, I'm going to drive me nuts with that not on the stand every time I lift it. Okay, there we've got that. And then I'm going to add these little bit of, yep, these corals. Oh, wrong gun. I'm on my lunch break, and I don't know. I, for some reason, um, I lose my train of thought when I'm, on lunch break trying to do one of these and I don't really know why I have an entire hour and it only takes me 10 minutes but 
I don't know. I'm kind of weird. Alrighty. Wow! Glued that to my desktop. Not so good. I don't know. Do I like it there? Nope. I think I'm going to put it over on the other side. I didn't like it so much over there. This is too bare then. There. I like that better. Then I'm going to take, and again, when I put these together, the reason for all the tape is so that when I line them up, I can stick them together so that they don't... Oh, these are going to be so cute. My daughter didn't like the idea of my print and cut because she said it loses the effect of homemade, but I do not agree with her at all. I think that adding your little touches keeps it homemade, and I think it keeps it very personal. I would never take a shortcut. Oh, what I'm doing here, then I grab some of my silks that I get at Michael's, and I'm like a broken record, and I apologize for anybody that I might be annoying, but I am really, really big on textures. So what I'm going to do is I cut these off as low down as I could without cutting it to the point where it's going to fall apart or fall out. And so it's a little bit raised up on my, ba on my project here, which again, it not only gives it textures, it gives it dimension. It, it um, keeps it from being just kind of flat. And, you know, I know these aren't flowers from the sea. I was going to put some seashells on it, but um, unfortunately I had a little basket full of them and my husband decided anything that collected dust needed to go in the trash, so he threw them away. Um, I tell him, don't ever throw anything away because I can make use of anything. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on his crown because it seems to be... Oh my gosh! I, I, you're going to have to tell me what you think, but I think that is absolutely adorable. Let me put some flowers on the back, and, whoops, oops, 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 and I'm using my good scissors without realizing it when I should have been using my wire cutters. It will. That'll be the next trip for my husband to the stores to buy me new scissors. That poor man. I'm surprised he even answers my calls when I call him because in, invariably I'm having him run to the store to get me something. He's just gotten so good at it, you know? If he didn't do such a good job, it wouldn't bother him all the time. Oh well, yeah, I would. I do like he did when my kids were little and he'd... I was a stay-at-home mom raising our kids. Um, when he'd asked me to go to the hardware store, I always would come back with the wrong thing. So I got to the point, I knew I was going to be wrong, so I just grabbed whatever. I was always going to require a trip back to the hardware store, but he usually did the return trip to get the right thing. So it's payback. Oh my, my, my. I do believe I think that's cute. Maybe that's just me. You're going to have to let me know what you think with all... Again, um, keeping in mind that he is a little bit more pixely than I would like the printout. Um, I went and picked some other images in a higher resolution to see if they printed out a little bit better. But again, I'm experimenting. This is for my grandson's party. Um, and uh, not to say his party's not important, but he won't know the difference. I'm going to grab you here and take it back over here. And my husband, again, I don't think this would be, I, I would be completing a video, video if I wasn't telling you how my husband needs to paint the peg on the bottom and cut it down so it fits, fits flush with the base. Boy, I can't even talk. All righty. Um, let me know what you think, and you stay tuned for the next... Oh, I know what I was going to show you, too. What I did, as I showed you the other day, the Gabba Gabba that I did, all those centerpieces, and I have to do a banner and treat boxes and tags. So, I used my new silhouette. I'm going to shut this light off. I used my new silhouette, and I cut out four and five inch die cuts using an image off of Google. These are the images that I used to make them 
and then all I did was make little tiny ones and so I've got the great big ones made um, of course with all the layers and made from scratch by making the SVG and then these little tiny which the reason I really think I'm gonna love the silhouette is because when you make these things so tiny in die cuts it is a lot of work to put them together and get, keep the detail it's just it's a lot and it's it's really not I hate to say it but it's not worth it this I can make the die cuts on my silhouette and make my big pieces um, this is only about a foot and a half I can make those um, partially using the silhouette and then I can use my big two foot ones completely using the F S F G S B G um, because the larger it is it's not hard for me to to make all those cuts but it gets hard when they're really tiny anyway let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed have a great weekend